Live will be bringing you a full documentary a little later on uh, Sekitumile Masiri. Meanwhile, thousands of Namibians are expected to fill the Independence Stadium in Van Hook to bid farewell to the struggle icon and Dimba Toivo Jatoivo. The 92-year-old former Robben Island inmate died earlier this month at his home in Van Hook. Jatoivo had been tried and imprisoned by apartheid police on treason charges in 1968. Foreign dignitaries from Cuba, Zimbabwe and South Africa are among those who are expected to attend the events in Van Hook. Jatoivo's body will lie in at the Parliament's garden tonight before being taken for burial. He will also be mourned by South Africa in his appreciation for the role he played in the attainment of democracy in our country. All right, and for more on this, we once again cross live to our reporter in Van Hook, Chriselda Lewis. Chriselda, good morning to you once again. Talk to us about the tributes that are being paid on this morning's papers across Namibia. I mean, of course, uh, uh, the African continent has actually uh, dealt a, a double blow because we've also learned of the passing of the former Botswana president, Se Kitumile Masire. Well, that's right, Palisa, as would be expected here this morning, splashed across uh, all the newspapers here in uh, Namibia as messages of condolence uh, to the late struggle icon, Toivo Yatovo. Just looking at the Namibian this morning, some uh, messages uh, from uh, the late uh, Toivo Yatovo, messages that he had previously given uh, to Namibians as well as to the world. I think very interesting to have a look at this newspaper this morning where they've got excerpts of Yatovo's court address on the 1st of February in 1968 at the South African Supreme Court of Appeal, yeah, South, South African uh, Supreme Court, where of course uh, he had said that, uh, you know, we are not Namibians and South Africans. We do not now and will not in the future recognize your right to govern us, to make laws for us in which we have no say. Of course, all of that uh, uh, reflecting uh, the unhappiness uh, of uh, the Namibians that were arrested when the South African forces had stormed uh, parts of this country, arresting him to get with his other comrades where they were saying they're not going to recognize the apartheid white rule at the time and certainly this is what I think will take uh, precedence when we attend uh, this memorial service which will take All right, apologies on that one. We seem to have lost a link to Chriselda Lewis, who was basically telling us about uh, the memorial savers over the struggle icon from Namibia, uh, 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 Toivo, who will be buried, of course, uh, tomorrow. And the memorial savers taken today, Chriselda basically telling us that uh, uh, the newspapers this morning, all of them in that country are paying tribute to this struggle icon. Yes, Chriselda, it's back to you. I believe everything is up and running now. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear me, Palisa. Loud and clear, Chris, you can go ahead. Well, we do apologize uh, for that break in transmission. As I've been saying, newspapers splashed uh, here today with uh, tributes uh, to Toivo. Yeah, Toivo, we're expecting that memorial service to get underway. We do understand that many people have started making their way to the Independence Stadium where the memorial service uh, will be taking place. And, of course, those dignitaries who will be paying tribute uh, to Toivo, yeah, Toivo and uh, the contribution, of course, that he's made uh, to South Africa's uh, democracy as well. And I think, as you've mentioned as well there, by Lisa, a double blow this morning as we're waking up to news of uh, the death uh, of uh, the former Botswana president, Sekitumile Masire. And of course, uh, we will also be speaking uh, to many of the high profile guests uh, here in Vintuk who will, of course, I think also pay tribute to him. Remember, of course, Masire, uh, we last saw him in South Africa last year when he attended uh, the book launch uh, of the former president, uh, Tabombeki, uh, the Tabombeki I know. And uh, we're also expecting tribute, of course, uh, to Paul in uh, from the Tabombeki Foundation. Uh, we, we know that, of course, uh, Masire and uh, the former president um, uh, Tabombeki were very close. But uh, I think many tributes will also pour in from the side as well. But uh, Namibians, of course, waking up uh, to a very sad day this morning where this official memorial service uh, will take place for uh, Toivo, yeah, Toivo. And I think uh, many are concerned and are saying that uh, the legacy of this man needs to be preserved in this country and the ideals that he stood for 
war that many African uh, leaders should emulate today in many of the Namibians that I have spoken to during the course of our time here. Many are saying that um, uh, many leaders uh, on the African continent should take something from Toivo ya Toivo in that uh, you'd recall, of course, uh, that Khalima um, Motlante at uh, the memorial service uh, that was held at the Nelson Mandela Foundation in South Africa this week, also saying that uh, there were two types uh, of leaders and uh, leaders who would stand the course uh, during apartheid or give up and that Toivo ya Toivo was one of those people who never gave up and always stood up against uh, white apartheid rule. And uh, I think those are many of the sentiments that we're expecting uh, to hear here and I think more intimately, uh, I guess, from his widow as well, who will also pay tribute to him at the stadium. But I think I'm more interested in hearing from uh, the uh, Namibians themselves about how this legacy itself needs to be preserved and how Namibia itself will be able to continue highlighting the role that he has played in this country. You'd recall, of course, that he's also the founding member of SWAPO, uh, the party in this country and uh, we're also expecting some tribute from some of uh, the leaders of SWAPO as well. Uh, that's all before or after of course we'll get then uh, that uh, public viewing uh, of uh, the body of uh, Toivo ya Toivo uh, to take place here at uh, the memorial service and then of course lying in state uh, uh, until the funeral of course tomorrow where we're expecting those perhaps who could not attend the memorial service to attend uh, uh, that uh, funeral service as has been of course been granted uh, a, a hero's funeral in this country, signifying, of course, the role that he has played in the attainment of independence in this country, as well as the attainment of uh, democracy uh, in South Africa. But, of course, those tributes as well uh, to the later Botswana president. We're also expecting to hear from many of the leaders here, including those who will speak at the memorial service, including uh, the former Namibian president, Sir Sam Najoma, as well as um, Afiki Punya Pahamba. Chrisalda, thank you very much uh, for that update. That's our reporter live from Venhook. Chrisalda uh, Lewis, do stay tuned to Channel 404. She will be.